Welcome to the Thought for April the 23rd. Our readings are Deuteronomy chapter 6 and 7, Ecclesiastes chapter 2, and John chapter 19. And our thought is, this was my reward. We continue on from some of our thoughts yesterday on how the wisest of kings, Solomon, reflected on what his life had really achieved. In reading Ecclesiastes, we perceive his remarkable insight into the meaning and purpose, from a human perspective, of all that exists and our interaction with them in our lives. What do his insights reveal? Solomon uses his wisdom to accomplish everything possible. His second chapter details this. He says, My heart still guiding me with wisdom, I made great works. I built houses and planted vineyards, made myself gardens and parks and planted in them all kinds of fruit trees. I made myself pools, had slaves, also great possessions of herds, also gathered for myself silver and gold. I got singers, many concubines, so I became great and surpassed all who were before me. Whatever my eyes desired, I kept not from them. I kept my heart from no pleasure. This was my reward for all my toil. Verse 3 to 11. Note his conclusion. This was my reward. But note even more his next comment. Then I considered all that I had done and the toil I had expended. And what does he see as the outcome of his considerations? Behold, all was vanity and a striving after wind. Other versions have, I saw everything was emptiness and chasing the wind. New English Bible. Meaningless, says the NIV. Solomon saw that human lives have no lasting substance. Yet we all strive after things we can possess and experience. We may these days, for example, travel to many parts of the world. Well, at least we did before COVID hit. But let us recognise that at the end of the day, there is nothing eternal in what we have experienced or achieved. Solomon then declared, So I hated life. Verse 17. What a remarkable comment. It seems evident he wrote this near the end of his life. He lacked the vision that his father David possessed when he wrote a psalm and commented about men of the world whose portion is in this life. But in the next verse, David said to his Creator, As for me, I shall behold your face in righteousness when I awake. I shall be satisfied with your likeness. Psalm 17, verses 14 and 15. What will we be satisfied with? Those who read Ecclesiastes should look into the mirror of their hearts and consider their ambitions and what they mean or do not mean in the eternal perspective of their future. Thank you for joining us for Thought for the Day, where together we can open up the pages of God's Word, remembering that it is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path.